Back to our top story this hour. The head of Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs has claimed a no-deal Brexit could cost British business up to £20 billion a year, while administrators in Calais have said they're unsure about what Brexit actually means. And the latest polls say the British public now think leaving is a bad idea. Well, for more on all of this, I'm now joined by independent MEP for the South East of England, Janice Atkinson. Janice, evening to you. Evening. Well, we're hearing that the authorities in charge of the port at Calais, they really don't know what Brexit means. Uh, that is a recipe for total chaos, isn't it? Well, it could be, unless we actually implemented a trusted trader scheme, which we can implement for the majority of businesses. But Mrs May obviously hasn't read the report that was produced by John Longworth, the former Director General of the British Chambers of Commerce and Industry, who produced a report in April 2017 laying out exactly how this would work. But then again... I can understand why Calais is in a state of flux and Dover's in a state of flux because Mrs May was supposed to pr produce a blueprint for, blueprint for Brexit before she went to the EU Council, which is here in a couple of weeks' time. Nobody knows where they stand. Businesses, people, visas, nobody knows where they stand. So I lay the, the problem firmly at Mrs May's door. Well, I think businesses now are beginning to know where they stand because we've just heard this hour that EU governments are advising British businesses not to use British parts in goods that will be exported ahead of Brexit. I mean, that, 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 that's a real concern, isn't it? <laughs> well, Project Fear is alive and kicking over here, as it was during the Brexit campaign. You know, this place is, is pretty desperate. They have got to shore up what, what the, the federalism, basically, because they go to the polls next year, and this place is going to be a very, very different makeup. We've already seen the fall of a socialist government in Italy with the populists in power, the populists in power in Austria and Slovenia, and, and throughout the, the EU, this is happening, so that they're holding on and they're just using Brexit as, 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 a, as a stick to beat us with, rather than sitting around the table in two weeks' time and having something firm to discuss with our EU Council partners, and bearing in mind these are the heads of government, presidents of governments, and sitting down with Mrs May and thrashing out the details, there's still no, there's, there's still no blueprint on the desk, so we have to blame her. It always comes back to number 10 Downing Street. She's had two years to plan for this, and she's had a Ports Authority report from John Longworth, and they obviously are not sitting there looking at it. And the Treasury, as, as for costing businesses 20 billion, well, those lovely people at the Institute of Economic Affairs said, actually, no, that's really overblown, it's about 5 billion. But nobody said there wouldn't be a cost to leaving. But once we leave, we can set up those trade deals with the majority of around the world who want to trade with us, and then you know, the, the cash will start coming in. Interesting you say once we leave, so you're being fairly optimistic that'll happen, because there has been a shift in attitude, hasn't there? Uh, hasn't there? We, we've just seen a latest poll that people now think leaving is a bad idea. There seems to be a backlash against Brexit here in this country. No, no, there isn't. It's a very, very small sample. And you think about last year in the general election, 85% of people voted for parties that are committed to leave the EU. Um, so that, that's where we are with that one. And you, you think about the foreign money that has been thrown at stopping Brexit, George Soros and all, all his campaigns that have been backed, the vast amount of money, the vast amount of propaganda coming out of this place as well. And really nothing has changed. The vast majority of people want her to get on and deliver. And I think once we actually get that blueprint if she ever prints it and the cabinet can agree because don't forget 50% of the cabinets around her are, are arch remainers only 15% are, are leavers and that's where we are um, we had a, um, a report come out of the weekend saying oh Armageddon was going to happen you know I'm building a nuclear fallout shelter in my garden it's not going to happen we are going to be free an independent sovereign nation free to trade with the world Janice Atkinson thank you very much indeed for your time good to hear from you